we have defined the planar circuits and uh, meshes now we will carry out mesh analysis and the first uh, type of circuit we'll take will be circuits with only resistors and independent voltage sources you can see that this is sort of the counterpart of nodal analysis where we first took circuits with only resistors and independent current sources that happened to be the most convenient case for nodal analysis similarly for mesh analysis the circuits with resistors and independent voltage sources are most convenient okay let me take a particular circuit and let me label these v1 maybe r1 1 r13 r12 r23 r22 and r33 okay and i label that v2 you can clearly see that there are three meshes one is here another is there and another is over there so with planar circuits identifying these things is very easy okay now what i'll do is i'll define uh, current variables these are known as mesh currents okay and by convention i'll take these currents to be flowing in a positive direction so let me call this mesh current i1 i'll explain what they mean and this mesh current i2 okay and this one as i3 okay now what does it really mean so i'll take each mesh and in that mesh i'll identify a current okay now what is this the branch currents are related to these mesh currents okay so if a branch belongs to only a single mesh such as this r11 and v1 which belong only to this mesh number 1 then the current through these is equal to the mesh current okay so the mesh currents are clockwise currents identified with each mesh okay now the currents in the branches if the branch belongs to a single mesh then the branch current equals the mesh current let me identify those so current through r11 in this direction will be i1 we have not calculated the value of i1 mind you that will come later but i am only relating the current in each branch to mesh currents i have already identified the mesh currents now i'll write each branch current in terms of those mesh currents okay this is somewhat like uh, taking node voltages and then relating voltages of each branch to the node voltages okay 
So, that is also I 1 and here I 2, you will take it in the proper direction. Current through R 2 2 will be I 2 and current through V 2 will also be I 2. Similarly, current through R 3 3 will be I 3 in this direction. Okay. Value of I 1 and I 2 and I 3 will be solved for later. Now, if a branch belongs to more than one mesh, we know that a branch can belong to at most two meshes. The branch belongs to two meshes. Then, the branch current equals the sum of individual mesh currents. Okay, and because you take all mesh currents to be in the clockwise direction, okay, basically in the same direction, what happens is that a branch can belong to two meshes and the branch current will be the algebraic sum of I 1 which is flowing downwards in R 1 2 and I 2 which is flowing upwards, it will always be like this. One of them will be flowing in one direction, the other one will be flowing in the opposite direction. So, the branch which belongs to two meshes will have its current to be the difference between two mesh currents. Okay. For instance, the current through R 1 2 will be I 1 minus I 2. The current through R 2 3 will be I 2 minus I 3. The current through R 1 3 will be I 1 minus I 2. Okay. So, these are the branches which are common to more than one mesh okay, and their currents will be the difference between two mesh currents. Okay. Now, you see uh, also the analogy between uh, nodal analysis and mesh analysis. In nodal analysis, the voltage across any branch will be either one of the node voltages. Okay. If the branch is connected between some node and the reference node, then the voltage across the branch will be one of the node voltages that you solve for. If the branch is connected between two nodes, neither of which is the reference node, then the branch voltage will be difference between two node voltages. Similarly, in mesh analysis, if the branch is on the periphery of the circuit, that is if it belongs to only a single mesh, then its current will be equal to the mesh current and if the branch belongs to two meshes, then its current will be equal to difference between two uh, mesh currents. Okay. Now, one difference though is that unlike node voltages, the mesh currents uh, may not represent a current flowing anywhere in the circuit. What I mean by that is, node voltages you can always measure with a multimeter. That is, uh, let us say you have a voltage between some node x and the reference node. You take a voltmeter and place it between node x and the reference node and you will measure that uh, voltage. Okay. Now, if you have a mesh current, then that may not be any of the branch currents. That is, that current may not be flowing anywhere in the circuit. right? For instance, let us say I have a circuit like this where I have a circuit whose graph looks like this. These are all nodes but of course, here I am concerned with uh, currents. So, let us say you take the current in the innermost mesh and if you look at these four branches which enclose the mesh, their currents will not be equal to this mesh current. Okay, Their current will be this mesh current minus some other mesh currents like this one or this one or this one or that one. Okay. So, this mesh current if you see, you cannot measure this particular mesh current in any branch of the circuit. So, in a way it is like an auxiliary variable which may or may not be found in the circuit. If you have a mesh current belonging to an outside mesh, that is a mesh on the outside, something like this, then this mesh current can be measured by measuring that branch current. Okay? Whereas, for the red one, that is not possible. But, uh, as far as finding the solution to the circuit is concerned, uh, these variables will work just fine and we can go ahead with mesh analysis just like we did with nodal analysis. Okay? 
So I hope you have understood the definition of uh, mesh currents. You of course take them always in the same direction, and by convention, I'll take them in the clockwise direction. Okay, and from that you understand that every branch current is either equal to a mesh current or difference between two mesh currents.